everyone, welcome to another reaction video. Today we are back with Triple S and their newest song, Girls Never Die. So the last time I reacted to Triple S, they had 10 members. I reacted to Rising, I think it was like a year ago now. And now they have all 24 members of Triple S. They are now a complete group. Um, I haven't been reacting to their subunits just because I can't keep up with them, honestly. Um, and I don't typically do some units on this channel. I think the only subunits I've ever done are for twice. Um, but I'm definitely, you know, if you guys want me to react to the subunits, I would definitely be down to. But I wanted to come back to them, see what, like, their vision is as a full group. I don't know. I'm just, like, very intrigued by a 24-member concept. Like, that seems crazy to me. So I'm just very excited to watch this video and see how they pull it off. But before we get into this reaction video, guys, go make sure you're subscribed to this channel down below. Less than 5% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're a fan of Triple S or just a fan of girl groups in general, you should definitely subscribe to not miss out on any new girl group content. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm very, like, intrigued. Oh. What? What? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Like, it's just crazy to me. Their signature La La La's, like, very iconic and rising, I feel like. That's crazy to me. Are they, like, having a sleepover in an office? That's kind of sick, honestly. Oh! <sighs> I love that. So it's a female empowerment song. I love, you know I love a female empowerment song. Oh, oh. Love that. Wait, I love that. Having some members do the choreography while others are in the background, like riding a bike or just like filming. I love that. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, I like this section. Is she eating ice cream in the bathtub? <laughs> in full clothes. Oh. Oh. They're definitely showing some like struggling and then how they're getting out of it, which I like. I love their styling, it's very like current. Oh, is this the dance line? I love this like instrumental and the like filter they've got on them. Wait, that was hilarious. Yeah, I love this filter. <laughs> I love that. The angel concept. Yeah, I don't completely get this. Well, I guess it's Girls Never Die, so. Wait a second. Is this supposed to be them in the grave? Like, in that hole? That's crazy. I love that shot. The lighting. Oh. <gasps> My gosh, it looks like a modern dance company. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. I think it is supposed to be them, but that's crazy. I love that, like, chunk. It's really pretty. 
Oh, dude, the cinematography of this video is gorgeous. Oh, did they reincarnate as birds? Guys. <laughs> Okay, that video was very, very interesting. I think there was definitely a storyline happening there. I think you saw me try to work it out in my mind in real time. If anyone knows like exactly what happened, feel free to let me know in the comments because I'm very intrigued by like, if I was right in what I said. But I think this song is very, very triple S based on the like, obviously what I've heard from Rising and the little snippets of all the other stuff that I've heard from them. They have a very distinct like vocal style and dance style. Um, and I feel like this song definitely shows that. It's very much triple S to me, which I think is important. If you're a 24 member group, you need to have an identity. And I think they definitely do. The 24 member thing is kind of crazy to me. I feel like they definitely did like a fairly good job with it, like in the choreography shots, making it feel like a whole ensemble working together. I think that's kind of the point of the full group comebacks. I know they're like heavily focused on subunits. Um, but the full group concept and like making them work together as an ensemble, I really, really liked that idea. This video was really, really cool. I loved like the choice of the like cooler blue lighting and like the styling that they went with, I thought was really, really pretty, very modern, but also had like, you know, the grave digging outfit references and all of the thematicness of it, I really liked. Triple S is a really, really great dance group. I think they did the choreography really, really well and it was so engaging to watch. I think that's one of the positives of having so many members is that you can do more complex formations and stuff like that, which made their choreography really interesting to watch. But yeah, this song felt very, very just triple S to me. And so I'm really excited to see like what else they can bring. I know their next group comeback is probably not for like a year or so. I think they usually do group comebacks every year. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want me to react to more of the triple S subunits coming up this year. Um, I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely intrigued. There seems to be a lot of like creative direction and visual storytelling that they do. And so I would definitely be interested in giving them a shot if you guys are willing or want to see them. So let me know. But I'm very excited about this group. I'm excited to keep listening to this. It's a very much, I feel like it's very similar to Rising in some ways, but I love the message of like that girl empowerment. I love that. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to just like keep Triple S on my radar, see what they get up to. And if you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, that is going to be it for this reaction video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.